arriving at Presidium Embassy. But what I need is proof. I can't take your word on this. But those assumptions merely leave my son stranded in enemy territory. Bilal may still be alive. Bilal. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please. Please. A few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. Yeah. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Palau's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Okay, I will I will be on the lookout for for him then. This person, something, obelisk. You, yes, hi. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Okay, great. That's wonderful news. This has requested a war summit of council races. Yes, the report suggests he has also offered an invitation to the Krogan. All right. I think he might be up here near the Spectre office. Are you the uh, Spectre? Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her Kasumi. for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. All right, well, let me help. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get Keiji's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I... got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Nice to see you again, Kazumi. All right, let's go check it out. Um, Spectre level access codes. Yes, let's do it. Gabriella Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody on the Citadel for working with Cerberus. No, 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 no. Let's let's pardon them. Send them to the Normandy. We need them. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? 
On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hannah are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good Spectre. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Oh, I don't have enough for the Black Widow. I need it. I need it. Okay. Anything over here? No? Okay. We'll talk to Bailey later. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma cluster. I think it's over here. Val, well, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for Ahanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. And I will say that I under that I I heard the part with the with the mistress with the Hanar. That's odd, yes. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. I think I have to go to the bar. Doesn't Arya want to talk to me? One moment, please. Now arriving at ward level, Kergatory. did that. They were refugees. Damn it, it's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their homes, their loved ones, and some con artist swindled them out of what little they have left. Can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. Here at the commander, no proof, no arrest. I filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? That's no ridiculous. How much we can do with this new detail anyway? I know oh. people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. Okay. Those Cerberus bastards had us. Assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. And poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. Brutal. Okay, so we know Brutal. he's dead. That must be his, his uh, team. We just have to find the proof. Okay. Hey, you ready to get this party started? Hey, now. Hell yeah, I'm here for the next 48 hours. I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we have the same thought. So, um, the bar's over there. And, uh... <laughs> he doesn't seem very interested to talk to her. Oh, there's a Torian over here we have to talk to, don't we? Damn it, morale is pitiful. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die. Yes, but I have it, I think. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the first regiment is waiting for you at Bay D24. The banner of Commander Shepard? I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these bastards. Absolutely. James, what are you doing down here? Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. 
And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. That is actually a really great idea. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres, hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. You're welcome. All right, Aria. Somewhere around here. Oh. There's a dance floor and everything. Okay. There she is. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Aria. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will Wait. Pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. They stole Omega from you. How? I did Cerberus defeat you. Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. Well, then I guess we need to go get Omega back. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. I am not a fan of gangs. Used to be a part of a gang. Was a lousy gang. They are not friends. However, we're kind of at an end of the galaxy type of situation. And I need all hands on deck. And I know you, Arya, can keep them in check because that is what you did on Omega. Sort of. I mean, the last time I was there, they were all trying to kill Garrus. They were united under that for a temporary thing. Okay, so can't believe I'm gonna say this, but we gotta do what we gotta do. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Suns leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. 
You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. All right. I can't believe I'm doing all of these shady types of things, but what choice do I have? We need them. We need everybody that we could possibly get on board, united, and ready to go. Ready to fight. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Okay. Oh, fish! So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as med tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the shop. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Oh, we have fish. Refugees, basic services. It seems the Exports is pleased to offer. I mean, I don't want to spend all of my money yet. I need, I need to save up for my, for my Black Widow sniper. So we'll hold off on these for now. This is okay. Just making sure. Don't yes, I need that to keep the fish alive. Ask about our full service warranties. I'll I'll wait on all the rest of this though. Thank you. Come again. Okay. All right, I have to meet somebody. I think what did she say? Somebody. Before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over the vids, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on. You deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. Okay, then. Soldiers are fighting on the front lines, and you're gonna... Break up with the guy, but I guess I understand. Quick, hands behind your back. I'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Aria brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. I'm gonna kill you if you're lying. This goes wrong. It's your ass. Quiet. I am to look even more powerful than Creek thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creek. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice, don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. All right, great. 
And we got that done. Sounds good. Whoops. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these Reapers win. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. Yeah. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus. You want to sell your shares and walk fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my home world burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a Okay, great. Oh, I have to talk to Bailey. Wasn't I just at the embassy? No. I have to go to the embassy. I have to come back here. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh, there's Liara. Let's go talk to Liara. Still working? One call leads to another. And here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? Yeah, I remember. I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Iso, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Okay. That's that's a good idea. But you also need to try to relax a little bit. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Okay. I think I saw him up by one of the shops. I think I did. Not sure. You gotta keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. Are you the couple that I saw on the Citadel years ago? You should be socializing with arguing about a pregnancy. There's another attack. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen. Do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. You're welcome. Wow. All right. Wasn't expecting to see those two. Joker and Edie. All right, Joker, let's talk. Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh, yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. No. They don't, but they are scared. I can hear them as I walk by. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure <laughs> she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Alright, I'm gonna go chat with Edie then. 
Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? What are we, what are we, what are we talking about? What? What's happening? So, we're talking about sex? I don't, I don't know if I'm qualified for that, but I can tell you that people pay attention. I, I don't even know how to respond to this, Edie. This was very unexpected. There are many magazines that give helpful lists. Maybe you should read them. I have. Their information is self-contradictory and assumes that the reader participates in Earth subcultures. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. I don't think it really matters. As long as you are spending time together. Laughing and, and everything. That's what matters. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. You're welcome, I think. I hope. I'm not sure what to think of that, but okay. Okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to think too much about it. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. All right, what do we have? Ooh, what's this? Yes, please. For the best in the business, come to I have to try not to spend too much money. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Welcome All right, what's over here? Gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway... Would you like to make a purchase? You look familiar. Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. She looks very familiar. Is she the... Her husband's a crow... Wait, they got married? Remember? They were on the, the Citadel. She wasn't sure if he just wanted to be with her to have a baby. He was reciting... Bad poetry. Yeah, they got married? Wow, I didn't see that coming. I mean, not yet anyway, but okay. Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Um, all right, I'll take that. Good hunting. That's interesting. I'm, I'm glad those two kids are making it. What? But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model or store credits or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. Okay. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? 
Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Wow, a toaster oven. All that over a toaster oven. Interesting. <laughs> Why? There are so many more important things going on right now. Anything in here that I need? Not really. Not yet, anyway. Although I could use that. Okay, I'll take that. I'm spending money and I'm not trying to. Okay, I, I'll wait. I'll wait. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright, let's go. Where do we have to go? We have to go back to the embassies. Right? Yes. This is problematic. We must Embassies? find a way to stabilize the heating units so the water temperature can remain steady. Oh, what? The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be in peril if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. Okay. All right, let's go. I have a feeling I'm going to be back down here. But we have to go to the embassies. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, 